Millions of people in more than a dozen countries stopped what they were doing and looked up. <gasps> there it is, the diamond ring. A solar eclipse coming at the same time as a supermoon, the closest it gets to the Earth, and the vernal equinox, the first day of spring. A rare cosmic coincidence, enough to make even serious scientists giddy with excitement. The hair is still stand up on the back of my neck, really, when I see this. It reminds you that we're on a planet orbiting a sun in a galaxy of 100,000 million stars, and we can all still get excited by, by where we are in the universe, I think. The moon's shadow swept across North Africa and Europe. Most saw a partial eclipse, but in remote North Atlantic regions, they got the full treatment. A black hole in the sky, offering a rare glimpse at the sun's outer atmosphere. It got very dark. All the street lights came on in town, unfortunately. <laughs> and the temperature def definitely dropped. But unfortunately, not everyone got their money's worth. Now, from our vantage point here, it wouldn't be London without a few clouds in the sky. It is a very overcast day, unfortunately, and a very grey Greenwich Observatory. I came to hopefully see something which, you know, was impossible because of the fog and the clouds, but I came to mix and I made a friend today, so that's cool. Perhaps the best view was from above. Here's what it looked like from a plane. A European Space Agency mini-satellite snapped this shot while an Italian astronaut tweeted these photos from the International Space Station. There hasn't been an eclipse in a long time, so it's going to be good. I've heard that it's rare, and I'm really, really excited to see it. So rare, the next total eclipse isn't expected in this part of the world until the year 2090. Jeff Semple, CBC News, London.